Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Everyday Updates. If you don't know me, I am Rakesh Negi and I am an aviation enthusiast. In today's session, I am going to discuss about 3-pin receptacle system and its electrical circuit. This system is used in aircraft having DC electrical system. So, let's start. 3-pin receptacle system. So friends what happens in this system is from the external power there is a socket which is called as the external power supply socket. It looks like this. Suppose this is the socket of external power supply. It has three receptacles. Okay. Suppose this is the connector. So this is the cable of external power supply. Okay cable and this is the socket so what is this of this is of external power supply which is also called as ground power supply right or ground power unit so this is of the external power supply so this external power supply socket it fits into a plug which is mounted on the aircraft structure at a suitable location generally it is mounted near the nose section of the fuselage towards its belly okay suppose this is the location of the airframe structure where the pins are located or plug is located suppose these are the three pins first pin second pin and third pin this pin is small in size that is its length is small and also its diameter is relatively smaller compared to other pins this pin is considered as the positive pin I'll write here positive so this is positive pin next this is also positive pin the second one and this one is the negative pin okay so that means we have one negative pin and two positive pins the bigger one is negative and this other bigger one is positive and the smallest pin is also positive so now these three pins they are enclosed within a shroud okay suppose this is a plate on which these three pins are mounted and this is placed inside a shroud structure suppose this is the shroud structure okay so inside this this is placed I am drawing a 3D diagram friends to make you understand. Next this shroud structure is basically fitted into the structure. So this complete unit having these three pins and shroud is fitted inside a recessed housing which is in the airframe structure. So this is the airframe structure. And these are the three pins and this is the shroud. This is basically a protective shroud okay now this protective shroud is fitted inside a recession which is mounted on this structure so this recession it is mounted into the structure like this okay some screws will be there which will be assisting this to fit into this airframe structure and these three pins will be covered by a flap hinged here suppose these are the hinges so on this hinges a flap will be mounted okay suppose this is the flap so this flap can be closed here so this is a hinged flap okay this flap can close okay and this has a quick release fastener so if i push this flap here it can close and it can cover up these three pins okay it is a hinged flap so if i want to open this flap i'll release this quick release fastener and open this flap so when i open this flap i can access these three pins now in these three pins i can plug in this socket okay which 
is coming from the XL power supply system. So friends, this is what is called as the three pin receptacle system. So what we have discussed here is in the three pin receptacle system, we have three pins which are mounted in the aircraft structure, which is mounted in a shroud, protective shroud. And this whole complete unit is kept in a recessed housing in this airframe structure. Okay, and this may be located at the no section of the fuselage. So all these three pins or plug can be covered by using a flap and that flap is a hinged flap. Right now it is in shown in the open state. So if I close it, that closes by means of a quick release fastener. And if I want to open it, the quick release fastener is opened and then I can access these three pins. So now if I want to provide power supply, that is the external power supply to the aircraft, what I'll do is from the external power supply, this extra power supply socket is coupled into this structure okay and these pins obviously are the conductive electrically conductive pins right so now when i couple this this will go into the aircraft now how will the aircraft system be powered let's study in terms of its electrical circuit so i'll just erase this friends suppose these three pins are here okay one two and three which is the smallest pin right so which pin is this friends this is the ground pin or negative pin right this first pin next this other pin is positive pin so this is the positive pin okay i'm writing here plus sign and the third pin is also positive so this smaller one is also positive okay so this is present in the aircraft structure these three pins right so now what i'll do is how is this system connected in the electrical circuit so that one i'm going to explain now so this smallest pin it is connected to the coil of a relay which is called as external power relay okay external power relay so this is the coil so this coil is connected to the ground by means of a switch Suppose this is one of the terminal of that switch. This is the other terminal and this is the third terminal. Okay. So this point is a common point which is providing grounding path by means of another contact of. Suppose this is another contact. This one. This contact is of a unit which is called as the reverse current circuit breaker. Okay friends, so this contact is of reverse current circuit breaker. It is not our today's topic. So this part I'll not be explaining in much detail. I'll cover this reverse current circuit breaker topic in my other YouTube session. Okay, so from here, if supply would be coming, it will go here and this is connected to the grounding path. Okay, so this is a switch. So this is called as the power selector switch. What is this called? Power selector switch so this switch is in the cockpit okay and this switch has got two positions this position is called as external i am writing here ext which is for the external power and this contact as like this is for external this is contact is for bat bat means the battery okay and this goes to the battery system where does it go battery system okay this also is not our today's topic so we'll learn this in other session so in this topic i basically want to highlight about these three pins okay what is that about so for this power selector switch which is in the cockpit this is the default position now in the cockpit if i put the switch in this position which is external okay so now what happens is Suppose I have shifted the switch to the external position that is for the external power supply. What happens is if I have connected the socket of the external power supply here in these pins, which is this one, then power supply will go like this positive supply through this coil. It will pass and the grounding path will be provided to this coil. That means this coil will get energized. When this coil gets energized, it will close a contact. Suppose this is the contact which it will close. Okay. And these are the two contact points. Okay. So when it closes, these two contact points will be connected together. So these two contact points are basically connected to the other positive pin. So this positive connection, it is connected to 
this contact point and this contact point is connected to the main DC bus bar okay so this is how the supply will be given to the main DC bus bar if we connect the external power supply in this system so friends as of now what we have discussed here is if I connect the external power supply socket which is having the external power supply then the ground it will have the grounding path from here from this pin from this pin positive supply will go in and wait at this point unless this contact is closed this contact closes when the coil energizes. so now let's see how does the coil energize so when I have plugged in the external power supply socket also the supply will go from here and it will be passing through this coil suppose I have closed this power selector switch such that I have put the switch in the external position that is the EXT then this coil will have the grounding path by means of this contact of the RCCB and hence this coil will get energized when this coil gets energized this contact will be closing so when this contact gets closed these two points of the external power relay will be connected and hence power supply will be given to the main DC bus bar so the power supply or current which goes to the main DC bus bar is this current which was waiting at this point so this is all because of the presence of this relay external power relay right so friends this is what is about the three pin receptacle system so from here you can note that friends these two fins are bigger inside this is small in size and it is connected to the external power relay coil circuit why okay i repeat the question again why is this small size pin connected to the coil circuit of the external power relay the reason is suppose i have connected the external power supply and there is a live supply now in this situation if i withdraw or plug out the socket of the external power supply at that point of time what will happen is while i am pulling the socket out so first what will happen is the connection will be removed first from this shorter pin because its length is smaller okay so when this happens what is happening is the coil of this external power relay will be de-energized right so when this coil is de-energized this contact will open and then no power supply will be there in this main DC bus bar and after that if the external power supply socket has been fully removed then no arcing will take place why I'm saying like this friends this is because when the socket of the external power supply is pulled out at that point of time the coil of the external power supply is de-energized first that means the heavy duty contacts will not have the supply when the external power supply socket is being withdrawn and this prevents arcing to happen at these main contacts okay hence the reason for the connection between this short pin and the external power relay coil is to ensure that no arcing happens at the contacts when the uh, external power supply is being removed with the supply in live condition okay so friends i'll quickly summarize what we have discussed today in today's topic we have discussed about the three pin receptacle system where we've discussed that from the external power supply there is a socket which is called as the external power supply socket which i have drawn here right and then erased so that external power supply socket is coupled or connected to the pins which are connected or mounted on the aircraft structure or airframe structure suppose these are the three pins right so these three pins are the electrically conductive pins their sizes are different they, these two pins are bigger in size and one pin is small in size small in size means its length is small and also its diameter is smaller compared to other pins one of the bigger pin is negative and two pins are positive one bigger pin is positive and smaller pin also is positive so this is the plug so this plug is mounted in a protective shroud okay so this shroud you can see this is protecting these pins and this whole complete unit is mounted in the aircraft structure okay and these pins are also covered by means of a flap having quick release fasteners if i want to access these pins from outside the aircraft what i need to do is i have to remove this flap first so i'll remove the quick release fasteners after removing the quick release fastener this flap will open hinged flap will open then i'll connect the external power supply socket here so when i connect the external power supply socket here what happens is the positive supply from this short pin will go to this coil and if i would have selected uh, external position from this power selector switch in the cockpit then supply will go from this coil towards the ground and it will have the grounding path when this coil gets the grounding path this contact of the external power relay will close when this closes the supply which is going from here that is the positive supply will go to the main DC bus bar and that's how the supply is connected to the main DC bus bar and of course the ground is there the ground connection is given by means of this pin 
right so after that we have discussed that why the short pin is connected with the coil circuit of external power relay the reason is suppose if the external power supply is connected and the supply is live and at that point of time if you are removing the external power supply socket then no arcing will happen at the heavy duty contacts why the reason is while we are pulling back since this pin size is small the connectivity of the external power supply socket with this pin will be removed first and when this happens the, this coil will be de-energized causing this contact to open that means the external power supply will de-energize first and then the contacts will be removed right so the arcing will not happen at these two contact points since the relay had been de-energized prior to the uh, detachment of the external power supply from these two main heavy contacts hence more or less to prevent the arcing at the main heavy contacts so friends i hope you have understood about the three pin receptacle system regarding the reverse current circuit breaker and about the dc battery system we'll discuss in my some other video session till then you enjoy learning today's topic and thank you